So, I'm back in the beautiful city for the new firm derby, where it's Bromby against Copenhagen. Let's go! Trust me, this derby is intense. So intense that again, no away supporters are allowed. Yeah, I know. No, God, please! The rivalry has also with this derby both sides of the story. Bromby fans call themselves the real fans of Copenhagen, where they blame FC Copenhagen fans for being a company that uses the club to make actual monies. Copenhagen fans see themselves as the number one club in the capital at this moment. Both clubs are so focused with each other that they are now both in the relegation zone of the league. Like I'm for real, this is a six pointer match. With a very minor gap in mind, they both are desperate for a win. For the fans and for a chance, Championship. It's old school football against modern football. It's the suburbs against the capital. Let's go. Right guys, from Hamburg to Copenhagen, I'm here. I have only been once to this beautiful city. The last time was a bit stressy, but today I had loads of time. So here are the cinematics of my experience in this beautiful city of Copenhagen. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. Church there, church everywhere. I seriously dare to say that this is one of the most beautiful cities Europe has to offer. You serious? Like, I'm not lying. Okay. All these beautiful squares. It's just so beautiful, this city. And now let's go to the stadium, to the derby, to the match. I'm excited. Let's go. So you can see the stadium behind me and I just met this amazing subscriber, it's like so nice to meet all of you, thank you so much for all your support, that allows me to go to all these places, to these stadiums and meet just you guys. Now we're gonna search for my friend who I met last year, let's see if we can find him with a beer in the fan zone, let's go. Of course, Goldsberg with the boys, <laughs> cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, it's time for a beer review, we have some Goldsberg, is this a local beer? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's try it out. <laughs> It's a 9 out of 10 for me, it's so, so good. <laughs> we got some beers and now we need score predictions. You first bro. 3-0. <laughs> Free 3-0, Free who's gonna score? <laughs> David, what's... 2-0. 2 0 you so confident, why? I just feel, you know, it's very, it's very, it's starving. It's thinking Right, we had some beers with my boys here from Bromby. Yeah. What's his shirt? If this guy scores today, I will buy a shirt. I promise here. Oh. Now it is David. Let's go. Bro, there are no Ultras here today. What is happening? It's like, <laughs> it's like a, a protest against, you know, the, the dropping social new owners. Right, guys, I have to treat my friends. Oh, that's oh, that's how we do, do it. I know the atmosphere is going to be crazy here, but my seat is there because then I have a better view at the Ultras here. I just wish everyone a good game. If we get 500 likes on this video, I will post one at the Ultras section. is rocking already in Bromby. It's a half an hour before kickoff. I'm excited. I'm gonna go with a 2-1 win for Bromby because of the amazing fan support. Let's see what happens. Very
This is for me, bro. Right guys, it's half time, it's one nil for Bombay. It's amazing atmosphere, even though the old class aren't there. What are we saying? What's the answer going to be? I have to say, like in the first half, Bombay became really, really, really strong. But then Copenhagen took over. So for the second half, it might be Copenhagen all over. But again, Bromby is dangerous with those corner attacks and maybe, maybe they can pull it off. Let's see what happens. It truly blows my mind every time I we form us as one community. Your support allows me to go to all these beautiful places, meet all these amazing people and experience the different yet majestic atmospheres and cultures. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. We keep round for much more to come. <laughs>